Hi everyone, this is Joe with Big Tree Solutions, and today I'm going to go over our new order flow. Um, this is mainly some major upgrades that we made to the ordering process from the user interface side. Uh, so first off on the left here, I have the old order flow. On the, new, on the right side, I have the new. So let's start off with just simply logging in. Let's log into the new side. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is when we log in on the old order flow, it takes the consumer straight to home. When we order on the new, it takes them straight to the address. So I'll kind of show you why, and, and I'll expand these out so you can see what they look like on a desktop. Uh, so right here, uh, you'll see that the home page, unless you add something, it just is letting you know you can navigate with the links on this page. So uh, unless I know to go to addresses, you know, it, it really doesn't give me anywhere that says, let's go ahead and start this order. So we felt that that was not the right way to, uh, to start the customer off. So what we've done in the new order flow is taking you straight to the address page. And as you see here on the address page, we, we've made some big upgrades. Uh, you'll know on the old address page, you can choose an address or delete an address and start your order. Here we've also added what you can change to pick up. Um, you can add a new address for this delivery, or you can actually just add an address to your um, your current list of addresses and then start an order from there. So, you know, first off right off the bat is right when you sign in, it's giving you your addresses starting from the one you use last going down to the one you use least uh, and giving you options to start an order instead of, you know, having to click somewhere else to go find a way to start an order. Um, so again, if we go to addresses on the old front end or the old order flow, uh, so let's see here. I'll expand that out too. You'll see we still have the start order option and the delete option, but you can't add an address here. So if they don't want to deliver to one of the addresses that they had uh, previously, they might be thinking, all right, well, I don't want to start an order with any of these addresses. So now it's a stop, it's, a, it's an end right here. They might bounce off the site. So um, those are the main uh, upgrades we made just for, uh, you know, logging in, basically taking you straight to the address page, updating that address page, making it much easier. So let's go ahead and start an order. So I'm going to pick an uh, address from both places. And the first thing I want to do is choose a restaurant that's not available for ASAP ordering. So let's see, on this side, we're going to choose PDQ. Over here, we'll do uh, the Shays. Okay, so you'll notice right when you get to this page, uh, the first thing is that this restaurant's not available for ASAP ordering. <clears throat> Shows the same thing on both pages. But we've noticed that some customers, they just don't pay attention to this message and they go down and, and start looking right at the menu and they start to order. The issue on the old front end or the old order flow is that when you click an item, nothing happens. It doesn't say, oh, you know, doesn't give you a warning. It just seems like the site doesn't work. So we found that to be uh, a major issue and a stopping point. So what we did was, if you see here, well, well first of all, let's go into the, the menu. Um, you'll see that now we have it so it can be compressed. And you can just click anywhere. Um, you'll also notice that you can now enter a photo to the left of the heading. So you could have a photo of, you know, chicken tenders. You could have a photo of one sandwich. Then when you open this, you would see all the sandwiches. So let's go ahead and order a sandwich here, we'll order a bunch of them. All right, so I've added my items. As you can see at the bottom, we have, you know, all, we can go back to restaurants, we can change our delivery time, and we can view our cart. 
Um, so on this side, we cannot do anything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to click and say, all right, we're going to start with that next time. So now we've added some items to this cart. So now let's go ahead and move on. So we've built a cart. It's considered a future order. The nice thing is now this is just prompting you to your next available time on the new side. So let's go ahead and view the cart. Everything looks good. We want to check out. We're going to do the same thing on the old side. So starting off at the top, things are very similar. Uh, you're going to have when, where, you can modify that. Uh, you're going to have your order next. Um, then before we had how you're going to tip your your um, driver next and we thought that needs to be something at the end that's usually something that's done at the end of the process so now we've moved uh, enter your gift code in before then so people will enter any kind of gift code that they have uh, which was you know before it was below that um, then how would you like to pay so you're going to enter your discount you're going to say how you would like to pay um, where before you're looking at tip first, then a code, then special instructions, uh, then last was how would you like to pay. So now we've changed that up a little bit. Um, suggested driver gratuity. Uh, obviously, this is just a setting on this site, but you could have that set up however you want. So we just thought this flowed a little better. You have your total here, enter a coupon, then you would get your new total. How would you like to pay? Cash. Um, then your suggested gratuity, uh, and then last but not least, your special instructions right at the bottom. Um, now you'll notice something else that's new here. Uh, the You have to click this box, so I can't place my order. Because this is now, a few, it's, well, it's a future order, but, you know, put in as an ASAP order, what we didn't want to do is, you know, now that someone could pick a restaurant, essentially ignore the no ASAP orders, the first orders available at 1130 and start to build an order. We wanted to just double check and make sure they understood this order is for delivery today, 9-2-2015 at 1130 a.m. And you need to click to confirm this so you can place the order. So we just felt that's a great way to take out any confusion, make sure they understand exactly when their order is supposed to be there, and then they can place the order. So, uh, those are the main changes in order flow. Uh, we think that although there are few of them, um, uh, we've, also, we've also added some other uh, minor changes that you'll see as you're going through, but those were the real big changes um, that your customers will notice. Uh, we hope you enjoy this, and uh, we hope it helps you convert more business. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at BigTreeSolutions.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.